Okay, here we are getting ready to uh, go outside the house and go down to the location of our new uh, secondary print farm. It's a cloudy day. Got my little helper here with me, Wolfie. Come on. And we're got a little turkey there. Live out in the country a little bit. We're going down to a building that I have here on my property close to the house. Uh, it's a 40 by 60 metal building, got electrical and plumbing in it and so forth. Used it for storage and uh, maintenance work and so forth for my construction business. There's one of my bulldozers that's going to be up for sale here this spring. Tractor, some trailer and equipment. A uh, few miscellaneous things left over from the uh, construction business. I was in residential construction for a little bit over 20 years, so uh, collected a lot of junk and a lot of it went into this building right here. So now I have an incentive to clean it up and utilize it for something. Why not a 3D print farm? Okay, looking inside. I promised you it was going to be a mess and uh, that it is. Most of this stuff in here is either personal junk or tools, stuff left over from the construction business. So I'll be cleaning a lot of it out, getting rid of a lot of it. Uh, if I can sell it, fine. If not, we'll just have to uh, get a dumpster out here. These boxes right here, uh, these are for the print farm. Printers, um, shelving, a brand new stack of um, ET4 ANAP printers, a couple of Tronic CXY2 Pros down there, another stack of uh, ET4 printers, Tronic C, some King Runes, so forth, filament, uh, and again, a lot of junk, a lot of stuff to get rid of. Okay, this area back here, this room is where I have conditioned space. Um, <clears throat> dehumidifier back here that runs keeps the humidity down heater that keeps the temperature reasonable and uh, as you can see in this space it was used at once we had a little powder coat operation that's our powder coat oven that we built and uh, some powder coat equipment powder coat booth uh, powder coat inventory and stuff uh, this is all going to be cleaned up in here. I plan to use this area in the corner for my resin printers. They were a little too messy for me to want to fool with them up the, the other at the house in the carpeted bonus room. But um, I think this will be a good place for them. This room, I originally built this as a paint booth for automobiles. I uh, restored a 1970 Plymouth Cuda 446 pack uh, a few years back and I thought I might do some more and uh, thought I might need a place to be able to paint some cars. So I built this paint booth with ventilation, um, different kind of lighting in here and uh, never used it. That's why we still have this garage door here. But I, then I started putting stuff in here, using it as storage, set up some tables, did a little bit of my electronic experimenting around in here and so forth. Um, but never really got a lot of use out of it. Now I'm going to clean this out, convert it to my second 3D print farm. There'll be a lot of ANET 
AT4, uh, AT4X, and AT4 uh, Pro printers going in here. I'll probably have about, um, oh, I guess I'll probably have about 20 ANET printers set up in here and some Tronic C XY2 uh, Pro printers in here uh, to start with. And they'll be set up on shelving down the center of this room. And um, anyway, as you can see, there's a big mess here. Got a lot of work to do. Um, a lot of stuff to get out of here. And uh, that's part of the challenge. But that's what, uh, what we'll be working on and showing you the progress. I wanted to do this video just to show you the magnitude <laughs> of the job that I have in just making room for a 3D print farm in here. And cleaning up this area also. Um, so that's about it for now. We're going to head back to the house. It's Fortunately, it's a short walk um, from the house down to here. And won't be uh, too difficult. Plus, this summer, I'm hoping with this COVID thing clears up, that I'll be able to uh, hire someone to come and help me do a little bit of this of the work here so I won't be doing it all by myself and uh, close the place up here and Got a lot of cleaning up to do outside also. Need to sell this equipment that I'm not using anymore and uh, get rid of it. I can, uh, I can buy a lot of 3D printers for what I can get for that dozer right there. Nice little Komatsu dozer. We use that for several years in the business. I've got an excavator over on the other side of the house and no longer have any use for that. So a little buddy and I are gonna head back into the house and get this video loaded so we can start doing some editing. As you can see we're kind of Isolated a little bit out here as nice peaceful area.